This is an astrolabe, and as I said, those, those drawings were uh, based on an astrolabe. Um, and what exactly does it do? This uh, can tell you a lot of things. It's like an early uh, analog computer. It can tell you, uh, if you know what time it is, you can tell you your latitude. Wow. If you know what latitude you're at, it can tell you what time it is. Um, it can tell you the elevation of things through triangulation. It, it can help you identify uh, where the sun is going to be with respect to the moon, with respect to the earth. Right? And where did you get this? I made this in college. Wow. Uh, and full disclosure, Beautiful. I had a partner. Uh, <laughs> my partner did a lot of the uh, drafting work, and I did most of the brass work. Very nice. And you can see on the back, there's a, this allows you to sight, you, so you sight your star or your planet um, to get your bearings. So they use this. To, it's, a, it's amazing the work that you can do with a compass and a straight edge. So first I'm going to do an underpainting. Uh, I start every painting uh, with an underpainting. Um, you can't always, you, you may not, it may not always be obvious. Some of them are very obvious. Right. Uh, some of them are less obvious. Um, but it's always there, and it adds... It adds uh, an element of uh, texture and depth to the canvas. And I always have a plan. I mean, it looks rather random, but there's actually a plan um, as to where, where things go. And, um, and so what is this that you're putting on the canvas now? This is a, a liquid acrylic. I actually use uh, some that are called inks or high right. flow. Um, they have different names, but you can actually uh, bring down some of the, the fluid to a very, very liquid state. And I'm diluting it somewhat in order to make it more workable because I want to soften the edges. I don't want hard edges in most, of, most cases on this. So this is almost like a wet on wet watercolor technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very similar. And I'm you can see my plan on the other canvas, so I'm just trying to get, you know, a little bit close to that. And um, now, you don't have to be uh, limited to one color. You can do it in layers. Um, and they, what tool are you using to spread it? What this is, is a palette knife. It's yeah. just a standard palette knife. And I use palette knives, brushes, sticks, whatever creates the edge that I'm looking for. Like I'm going to dilute that just a little bit more on some of the edges because I want the edges to be a little softer on the outside. I'll leave them a little harder um, in the areas that I'm going to um, um, in the areas that I'm going to have uh, my focal point. So there you are. And this is called Jetson's Homecoming because. <laughs> If you think about the 50s and 60s, we were just raring to get into space, right? Everything was, um, you know, about space. Well, at least to me. I mean, I right. was a child, so very, very young child, of course. <laughs> um, but, you know, we were so anxious to get onto space, and, and these motifs remind me of that. And to me, it's full of enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. Right? We were anxious. We were ready to go. But still using the slide rule. <laughs> but yes, still. I, in yes. fact, in fact, uh, yeah. My uncle worked for NASA, right. and he was using a slide rule. Yeah, exactly. And this is called Jetson's Vacation, right? It's a companion piece to the earlier one. And again, it's like you know, we're out there going planet to planet and 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 having a blast. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have some more demonstrating to do on yes. this piece. So. That piece has dried and it's become this. It's and become what do you this. Do next? And I put multiple layers on this. And so what I'm going to do on this is to draw. Now I want to show you. I'm not going to use it, but I wanted to show. This is a traditional um, uh, drafting pen, and you just dip it in ink, and uh, the surface tension holds the ink in the pen. Wow! And it draws a beautiful line. But because I'm using a canvas. And because um, the lights can make the acrylic dry, I'm going to use a marker instead. Um, and you so, can get but in your paintings. You use that. Tool. I use both. Okay. I, I use both depending on the quality of the line I want. Okay. Um, they they give a slightly different uh, quality of line. So um, this will give a harder. Uh, this is in the ink, so it'll give a nice black line. Right. With that, I can pick up any color that I have available. 
um, that's liquid enough. Now, um, I have a design preset out, so I... So do you have a sketch that you work from? Um, I typically work in, in stages, so I'll do thumbnails and then evaluate what that looks like afterwards and see if I want to change that. So I don't do uh, a super detailed drawing, but I may, I may have a, a variety of sketches that I'm working from. And this is about, you know, on the surface it's about the sun's rays and measurements and analyzing, but really it's about complexity. It's about the complexity of technology. I mean, things that we think are trivial today were very complex back then, and they had to do a lot of things all by hand. And part of the reason we think things are uh, trivial today is because we have machines that do all those calculations right. for us. Well, yeah. I if mean, we honestly, didn't have the machines, you know, we'd be lost. If we didn't have GPS, I think a few of us couldn't get home, <laughs> right? So we rely a lot on those machines. Right. You have another canvas here. I have another canvas here. It's another step. And what I'd like to do is uh, make some marks. And it's just a question of highlighting. What I have here is a very small uh, nozzle on a, right. on a bottle of very fluid stuff. Um, and it's working. So that's good. good step. Um, it's, a, it's a five millimeter uh, nozzle. And it's essentially the tip of a, a mechanical pencil. So you're not going to use a brush? No, I'm going to use this as my, as my oh. mark maker. And if you think I'm like really nervy, just remember in uh, acrylic, you can, uh, you, if, if the bottom is dry and the, the top is fresh, you can usually uh, wipe it off. So well, this is have? an old drafting set. You can see there are a lot more pieces. Um, Let me see. There are different sizes. And you can, and uh, they're short because they have different uh, attachments that can go into it. But you can see these are very fine tools. And they were very, very precise. If I'm making arcs and I want them to be large arcs, I'll put my, my marker, whatever the mark is on this end, I'll anchor this side and then oh, look I'll, at that. I'll draw my arcs just like that. I mean, that's a very traditional way to make a large arc. Right. It's hard to make the entire circle like that. Right. You run into your arm. But for but for large arcs, it's perfect. And it's as close it's to easy. free as you're gonna get. <laughs> That's great.